Thank you for clicking on the video. My name's Matt, and welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, this channel's called Secondhand Home Theater, and I basically cover various home theater topics. Uh, but the catch is, with my channel, everything I have here in my home theater is primarily used. It's basically all secondhand. I only buy very, very few and very specific items brand new. Otherwise, everything I have here is used. And that is the whole point of this channel, is to talk about home theater through the lens of buying used items and showing everyone out there that there are good quality items out there in the used market if you just take your time to look. But that is not what we're talking about today. Here today, this is part of my Why I Own It series where I pick a piece of media out of my collection and basically explain why I own it. Here today, if you can see behind me on my screen, we're gonna talk about maybe cult classic? I don't know, it's a cult classic to me. I really love this movie. But we're talking about Tommy Lee Jones in Volcano. So, stay tuned. Southern California. We're heading for a high of 75 degrees. Didn't take long to get our first zig alert this morning. This morning, Shaker surprised all of us here in the Fox 11 newsroom. This was a small to moderate earthquake. Epicenter in magnitude is in for a tense spot. Epicenter in Palmdale. Palmdale. Is the winner. Ah! If a dam breaks and the mayor calls, I don't want you telling her Rourke went fishing. Okay, we don't pull her off the slopes for even a 4.9. Gas explosion in the MacArthur Park area. Rescue crews. Public Works lost seven guys. What's going on? Freak accident on the storm drain. They had a steam pipe. It got scalded. Steam did that. Steam doesn't charge tissue like this. Nothing. Something else. We got a problem. Number four trend, westbound. Temperature on board reads 20 degrees above normal. That lake was 62 degrees yesterday. Today it's up to 68. That's a sunny day. It takes a geological event to heat a million gallons of water in 12 hours. What is a geological event? Mike, come in. What's going on? It's tremendous heat. This is no good. Get out of here. Get off the train. Get off the train. Please do not leave your home. Somebody tell me what the hell is going on. There's got to be something feeding this. When it hits a block, it's going to punch through. You made it rough. It's everywhere. It's out of the town. I need a demolitions team. Everybody out! LAPD, National Guard. Put as many people in front of it as it takes. We turn and run now. They're going to be defenseless. You don't like my plan? That's good. Give me another plan, but don't tell me we're backing out. We're going to take this thing to the ocean. In a city where anything can happen. On April 25th. Please stay calm. So I'm a huge fan of 90s cinema and early 2000s cinema. I mean, that was my prime childhood time. So I have a lot of nostalgia and a lot of fond memories of that time period. And during the 90s especially, there was a resurgence of what would be considered disaster films. And they ranged a variety of topics. You know, you have movies like Independence Day that really focuses more on like aliens coming to destroy Earth. You have like Armageddon and Deep Impact, which talk about asteroids and comets coming to destroy the Earth. But there was another kind of subset of that, which were volcano movies. And you had Dante's Peak and you had Volcano. And to be perfectly honest with everyone, I never saw Dante's Peak in my youth in the 90s. I don't have any memories of watching that movie when I was growing up. I only saw that movie much later on in life, like 10, 15 years after it was released. I saw it at home on DVD. But the other Volcano movie, which is behind me, Volcano, you know, aptly named, <laughs> with Tommy Lee Jones, 
I watched on cable TV when I was younger and I caught it a couple different times on just regular like TBS, TNT, whatever, when they would play like a Sunday movie or whatever. And I also remember watching it once or twice at my grandparents' house who had premium channels. So I caught it once or twice on like HBO or Cinemax or Stars or something. And I always have loved this movie. Is it some classic movie? No, <laughs> you know, is it poorly acted? Meh, at some points. Is the CGI stupid? By today's standards, yes. <laughs> at the time, I loved this movie and the whole idea of this movie, of a volcano popping up in the middle of a major city, you know, in this case, it's Los Angeles, but just all of a sudden popping up in the middle of the city and wreaking havoc and, like in this movie, Tommy Lee Jones's character and everyone trying to like contain the lava flow and kind of just contain the destruction and all this sort of stuff. It just like kind of blew me away. So to get to the actual DVD release I own, this is just a very bare bones, just widescreen volcano DVD. <laughs> this, there's nothing special about this. Actually, I think the only thing that's on here that's a special feature is the trailer. That's it. <laughs> I mean, this is very bare bones. The picture quality on this is serviceable, but this is not even in an anamorphically enhanced widescreen presentation. This is in a 185 to 1 widescreen, but this one is made for 4.3 televisions. So the only way to get it to actually fill up your projector screen is you have to hit a stretch function or a fill function on your projector or your Blu-ray or DVD player, which my Panasonic Blu-ray player that I use has a pretty good uh, stretch function that will maintain the theatrical aspect ratio and just kind of like blow it up to a 16-9 frame. It doesn't actually, you know, spill over and like crop out information. It pretty much just fills it perfectly to a 16-9 while retaining the aspect ratio. It has just a basic 5.1 audio mix, Dolby mix, uh, but I just, I love this movie and I love the cheesiness of this kind of like 90s disaster movie that's like over the top, has terrible special effects, has some cringy acting, you know, at times. Uh, the story itself with everything, not out of the realm of possibility, I suppose. I mean, I guess something like this could happen, I guess. Uh, but, you know, it's just a fun movie. And it's one of those things that I'm glad I get to watch it here in my home theater because I get a more immersive surround sound experience. I get it on a big screen, you know, for my room size. And I really wish this was a movie I was able to see in the theaters growing up, but I never got to see it in a theater. That's kind of a bummer to me. I kind of wish I would have. This release is fun to have, uh, just to have here in my home theater and be able to watch it here. So yeah, to end this video, the whole reason I, I own this, there isn't anything special about this release. This is one of the most bare bone releases that I own here in my collection, but, I just have a soft spot for 90s disaster movies. Uh, you know, I just I just really love the kind of B-movie, you know, kind of over-the-top stuff that goes along with it. And Volcano is a perfect example of that. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up uh, like I always do. I'm going to say thank you to everyone out there who's watched any of my content, who's liked and subscribed to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. It's humbling. I say that a bunch. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.